What's going on everybody? I have found another video that was out there. Keep in mind these are older videos, so quality when you watch them are going to be probably a little bit not I would say not as good as they are today. Um a lot of people reached out to me or like wanting to see these videos and stuff like that. So I surfaced them up and we're putting them together into some stuff. And they'll be out with it either this week or next week, but this is the next one. Uh, this is the famous, if you guys ever hear people talk about Max Schrock, um, this was a Bowman Chrome HTA break from my uh, memory. And you'll see uh, this was a breakdown by MW73, a.k.a. Mike Wilson. And uh, if you really pay attention to the video, you might have to watch it two or three times. But take a look at the placement of how he has the car. There is a shadow that goes underneath the car to him moving it and prior to him tilting the angle of that card As you guys know, there's like a, a filler card or like sheet that's in front It's laying like well, let me move this stuff back. It's angled in an angle like this laying down When it comes back. It's all perfectly flush So pay attention to that stuff there real quick video. This just gives you an idea. This stuff has been going on for a long time Cover briefly onto it right after the video. It's about three minutes long, if I recall right. Shortly. All right, guys, video should be done now. So, as you see, it's a little bit longer a video. Um, it, I'm pretty sure this was like a three minute video. I can't remember. I, I have a couple of them that are kind of be coming out. There's a couple of them that are really long to pay attention to. But as you notice, you know, all cards were on camera to a point. And then when the, uh, when he shows the Shrock, the, uh, bottom card so if this is flat laying down to cover this up it was laying in an angle and if you pay attention to the screen like this with the card you can see underneath that there's movement going on um now this was a one of the bigger ones as well from back in the day nobody had, that i know of knows what the card was that was taken um it's a shame, but like I've been saying, this stuff's been happening for years and years and years. It's just as the hobby has grown, um, people are starting to see it. Like, wow, I never knew this existed. And with a couple people that I've been talking with, they've they just been so in shock by it. And even from the messages either on, on YouTube or sent to my Instagram, which for some reason, if I don't get back to you, um, hit me on email and just say you, you sent me an Instagram because it's not alerting me on my phone. It's going in like kind of like a spam folder on there or something. But um or by email, however, Facebook messaged me. And um you know, people want to see this stuff so they can become better in judging of what they're doing, but this is just another thing about keeping your stuff on screen. And if you want to block the next have another camera up like up high down so people can see that you're not you know doing the old bait and switch and you know still in somebody's you know hit uh, it's been crazy over the years with stuff and i wish you know there were been more videos kept out there some of this stuff that went on um th th there's been stuff with guys messing up stacks to if you know what stacks is, it's filled with like two or three X's. It's just one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I've just never gotten into one. But uh, from that there to breaks, um, if you go back to the last video I posted, I put a link in the description for the uh, Sports Card Scammer page on Facebook. Uh, you're welcome to join it, take a look at the stuff. You'll see all the stuff daily in there from people not paying, canceling bids and all that stuff. 
I take a lot of it as a grain of salt. Basically, I use it to block people on eBay, so I don't have to mess with it. At the same time frame, you know, I look at what a lot of people are doing out there and stuff, and you usually don't get a good video which is going to cause a whole lot of uproar, I guess you could say, in the community only maybe a couple times a year. But there are some coinc or some instances, I should say, out there that they do go viral very, very quickly. And it's always good for having people look and judge at it and stuff like that. As I catch it, I mean, if I I might just mark it, is this a scam or not type deal video, if it's fresh and new, um, you know, and stuff like that there, just so you guys can see what's going on out there. Like I said, said a million times now, you know, break with people you're comfortable with, all product on screen. Um, it should not leave the screen. I got it. If a camera gets bumped and stuff like that there, it's all about the trust issue. But if you're a breaker, you need to do everything you can to make everybody that's putting their money into that break comfortable. That you're not going to, you know, steal something from them. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to show this video. It's one of the older ones. Um, I think this was 17, if I remember right. Maybe even 18. It's the years start blending together when I start thinking of Bowman and stuff. But <clears throat> um, this here was, you know, talked about for a long time. And still, the Cooks to 99 is probably the biggest one out there, of course. I'm pretty sure now the knock at the door is going to be probably taken over just because of the popularity and the more people in the hobby. Also, if you guys want to share these videos with people, that's fine. No need to ask me because that's why it's out there to share the knowledge on stuff like that there. Hopefully, uh, who wants to say Chiefs beat the Browns. So there should be another game coming on here shortly. I'm going to pop on to watch it. I don't know what day this is going to post out yet. But um, I have at least two more videos I did find out there that I'll show. And it's pretty much a lot of them are bait and switches. But it just shows you it's been going on for a while out there. Other than that, everybody... Have a safe week coming up. Contenders football comes out. I'm not breaking my box. It's just going in there to sit for a couple years. And then I'll debate on what I want to do with it. But I don't think it'll be much product really coming in this week or maybe even next week. So I'll, I'll take a look, see what I can grab and, you know, open up for the channel and stuff like that there. Thank you, everybody. It's been uh, popping in, watching the videos, subscribing to the channel and everything. Uh, I will get some more videos out. I usually look about four a week. I might have to up it a little bit here just because of finding these uh, scam things. There's something about Macari I want to show you guys that I've seen on there too. Uh, but other than that, I will catch you all later this week. Take care. Have a good one.